Hi guys, so welcome to the second trimester. Um, I'm feeling much better than I felt in the first trimester vlog. Um, before we get into this video, I really have to say thank you so much to everyone for all your kind words, for all your support. We really, really do appreciate the love that's literally flowing our way. Um, we're so excited. And we're just so happy that everyone's so excited with us as well. Okay, so we're in the second trimester and I am going to be taking you through this second trimester. I'm currently at 16 weeks, but of course it's taken a while to get to this point where I'm not feeling sick every day. Um, and then I just didn't want to pick up the camera because I was still feeling really rubbish, still having the nausea, uh, the smells heaving everything so um i wanted to just make sure i was in a place where i can be like you know what uh, i'm good i'm not gonna cry or anything like that although i am still emotional um so <laughs> so yeah i just wanted to just check in and be like look i'm feeling more better than more better i'm feeling better than i did a few weeks ago still not feeling any flutters so I'm a bit worried about that because I should be feeling flutters by now. Um, we have an appointment on Friday where we will be hearing the baby's heartbeat. I am really hoping that I can record the sound or the, just something um, so that we've got that. So hopefully my midwife will let me do that. But yeah, I'm really excited for that. Um, I'm still having cravings and I've actually been logging what I've been craving um, just to <laughs> show you all the cravings um, and I'm actually more than anything able to eat majority of food without feeling like I'm gonna chuck or without feeling like it tastes vile so I'm in such a better place now than I was but I am getting tired um so like when i go to work i'm not sitting on the floor i'm actually sitting on chair um for the majority of uh, my sessions now um or, or if i'm not on the floor with the kids i'm stand like usually won't be standing up but i'm taking as much time as i can to make sure i sit down um in sessions that i that i need to especially when it's um like we've had some really nice weather recently so a lot of like the classrooms have been quite warm so I'm just trying to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to, to rest um, and and take care of my body and take care of my baby. So yeah, um, so I'm checking in with you today and um, I hope you enjoy this vlog. Let's see what the rest of this trimester has for us. Today's craving, coleslaw. Of all things, coleslaw. Why? I don't know. But that's... That's what I'm going for. Crunchy. Creamy. Divine. Mayonnaise dressing. I'm assuming the mayonnaise would be made with British eggs. Yeah. So, should be good. Should be good to eat. I hope it's anyway. I'm gonna have one more mouthful and then I'm gonna go, and then I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> Another day, another craving, milkshake. That is banana milkshake. Craving of the day. It's craving, although it doesn't look the most appetizing. <laughs> Let's win it. Faggot and chips. Like, yes, my faggot fell apart. They, they fell apart, okay? But this is curing. And my chips don't watch. Just li listen, don't watch it. Just know that I'm enjoying it. Mm. 
oh so very much <laughs> so that's today's craving today is the day that we are going to be hearing the heartbeat of our little baby i'm i'm gonna be honest i'm nervous um i'm excited don't get me wrong i'm really excited i'm just nervous because i want to i just want to make sure baby's okay can't feel anything yet i still can't feel any flutters any kicks nothing like people said it feels like flutters i think because i can't feel anything to me it just makes me think like are you sure you're in there oh my husband is two cars behind me so um thomas is meeting me at the doctor's and we're gonna hear the heartbeat together I'm super duper excited. I'm gonna um, hopefully record the sound. If I can't, then I'm, I'll be devastated. I'm not gonna lie, cause I just wanna, I just wanna have it like to listen to, you know, as and when I please. But if I don't, I don't. I suppose it's not the end of the world, but it would be nice to be able to record it. And I'm hoping the midwife um, allows us to record something. Um, I also have to give her a pee sample. And I'm here, so I'm gonna go now, guys. And I'll check me later. Happy Saturday. Um, me and Bump are on our way to meet my mother, aka Glamma. We're going to a retail retail park and we're gonna go and have some food. We're gonna probably go to somewhere like Nando's and then we are going to have a look around a couple of the shops, um, TK Maxx in particular, just to get some inspiration. Window shop, but also if I see anything that's like a good price I might purchase it um, so that's the plan for, t for now and then afterwards we're going to my grandparents because um, yesterday was my granddad's birthday so um, I have a card and a little gift for him so I'll be dropping that off uh, Thomas is out today because he is actually going to watch uh, the Wolves match it is the last home game of the season so he's going to that with his family um, and some of his friends still on a high from yesterday with hearing the sound of baby bumps heartbeat um, incredible absolutely incredible and uh, my auntie and my cousin both said it sounds like a horse galloping and my cousin said, apparently, if your baby's heartbeat sounds quick or like a horse or something along those two lines, that it's supposed to be a girl. Uh, something that I'd never heard of. So we shall see. Only time will tell. How exciting. So yeah, um, I'm going to go and enjoy the day with my mum.
currently trying to film a cute a cute <laughs> announcement video <laughs> as to whether it is a girl or a boy oopsie daisy nice <laughs> and that's Thomas playing his xbox in the background so I'm going to try and film this and you'll probably see it on instagram um, or tiktok like I know this is a very cliche way of doing it you know football for boys pageant pageantry for a girl but it's a cute way you know at the end of the day baby can be whatever they want to be in life we're not gonna force anything on them any gender roles or any you know preferences of what we would like them to do um i just thought this was a really cute way of announcing it so and i'm very proud of my crowns guys i worked really hard for these and thomas worked really hard for his awards so uh yeah but they're in storage now unfortunately Hi guys, so today is the 2nd of July and me and Thomas are about to go out. We're going to see The Undertaker um, in his Dead Man's show. So I'm looking forward to that because I grew up watching wrestling. My grandparents introduced me to watching the wrestling and I'm super duper excited to go and um, to go watch it basically. Taking bump to go and meet the legendary Undertaker. I don't think you can film in there, so probably won't be any footage of it, but I'll check back in later. Well, hello everybody. So the last time you would have seen me was... Have a little bit of coffee. Was, um... Sunday. It's now Tuesday. And since Sunday, I have been battling a awful migraine. I mean, ridiculous. Ridiculous. I've spent the past day pretty much all yesterday in bed and I say pretty much I slept for about eight hours solid in the daytime yesterday luckily I've only got digits this morning I am at a primary school which I'm just getting ready to go to now and I will then be popping to the pet shop and then be coming home to make a baby boo so yeah, so basically, the last clip that you saw of me, I was getting ready to go to... No Gadget, it's not for you. To see The Undertaker. It was great, by the way. It was really good. Gadget, no, it's not for you. You've already had your breakfast. This is Bernard. Bernard, get out the cupboard. Bernard, out the cupboard, thank you. Good boy. Sit on the mat. Sit down. Good boy, wait. Wait. Um... But we couldn't take our phones in. Long story short, we went to go and get some food. I just had a plate of chips. And as soon as I sat down, my eyes started going funny. Anyone that suffers from migraines might have this issue where your eyes go. Um, they went straight away, unfortunately. And I was like, great, typical. And then the headache started to come on about an hour and a half later. So I enjoyed it, but I was annoyed. Anyway, I spent all of yesterday in bed. Bernard, you spent the day in bed with me as well, didn't you? Yeah. So that was my, that was my rest of my weekend. Anyway, I'm gonna pop back into you later because I gotta go, I gotta go to work. So just wanted to let you know, <laughs> this is how Bumpy's looking. I don't know if we can see her. Uh, Sorry about all the mess. Okay, so I'll speak to you later. Bye -bye. Hello there guys. Uh, just like check in, cause it's been a while since I've done a little check in. So let's go out, let's go out into the hallway. Oh, I need to bring this with me because there's a couple of things I wanted to talk about. First of all, I feel like we need to do a little bump check. This is the bump right now. Look at that guys. Look at the bump. The bump is bumping. Look at the bump. I am 24 weeks. So I just wanted to do a little bump check in so that you can see. Um, and you might notice I'm like, I'm perkier. You know, second trimester is so much better than the first trimester. Um, 
I know that a lot of people still have like sickness the whole way through and I honestly feel for them because the first trimester is is bad enough but to have it continuously for the whole time that you're pregnant I feel for them because it's just it's horrible it's just a horrible feeling um, to go through now I'm not going to sugarcoat the second trimester and be like you know it's absolutely perfect nothing has gone wrong because things have gone wrong I have had um, migraines and headaches um, I actually had to call in sick last week because I woke up and I you know I can't take my standard medication um, and all I can take is paracetamol which does absolutely nothing when I have really bad migraines um, it affects my eyesight so I can't see very well um, it feels like my head was so tender and so oh, it was just horrible absolutely horrible um, what are the symptoms? I mean, I haven't had symptoms, I haven't had bad symptoms like that, but that has definitely, um, definitely not been nice. I've been better with food, so I'm, I'm really enjoying food. Um, there are still a couple of things that I'm not still 100% on. Um, like, I was enjoying sausages, and now I'm like, I don't want sausages. I don't want them. Um, uh, I have to fancy them to have them um but my cravings today's craving is milkshake again homemade milkshake this milkshake is cookie dough um so i've literally put cookie dough ice cream in the blender with milk this is divine so tasty but yeah so i just wanted to do a little check in really um oh oh Oh, and oh, I almost forgot the most important news, guys. Books my maternity photo shoot, haven't I? Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yep. Booked the maternity photo shoot. It's happening next month. Um, we went back and forth with Charlotte, the photographer. Um, but we got there in the end. We're booked in. Going to bring the dog with us as well. Um... And I'm going to try and get a couple of shots with Tom in as well. So yeah, so Tom's going to drive up there. We're going to Leeds. I was looking at so many photographers. Uh, the first person I was drawn to was Stacey, who did our wedding photos. Because um, I thought, you know, same vibe, same style, all of that. Um, but I really, really had to wait. I really had to weigh up option, options. I needed hair, uh, not hair, sorry, makeup. Um, to be included, how many images do I get, how much does it cost, how much would it cost for extra images, the travel time, because all of the photographers that are like on my list don't live anywhere near where I live. So they would have all been journeys away. So it was like, which, which direction would we be traveling in? How much money would um, the photo shoot cost? Is makeup included? And if um, if it isn't included, then unfortunately they were crossed off the list. So I don't want to have to do my own makeup. Some people have asked, what, what's going on with Gadget? Gadget is still here, guys. Gadget's just an old man. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have a checkup at the vets this month, aren't you? <sighs> He's an old man. He's been um, causing a lot of drama in this household which is another story. Anyway, so basically, yes, I have been um, doing a lot of research, trying to like figure out who to go with, who does makeup. If they don't do makeup, then unfortunately, not on the list. How far away is it to travel? We were considering at one point staying over as well. And that is one thing that we're thinking about doing. Guys, I'm gonna go, because I've got stuff to do. I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye. Good morning, guys. So today is Saturday, and me and Thomas are going to be going to meet my mother to go pram shopping. I've got Bernard because it keeps barking at the cat uh, because he's just being Bernard. Um, so we're going pram shopping. We're going to a place in Wolverhampton that sells um, a variety of different prams, um, car seats, and cots and things like that and it's a independent business 
Um, so we're gonna go over there. We were thinking about going to somewhere like Mamas and Papas, but this place seems to have a lot of um, items for cheap prices. So we thought, let's go there first. Um, so yeah, that's what's gonna happen today. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we will end up purchasing our prom and we would like a travel system and then afterwards me and mom so me and tom are meeting mom and then afterwards me and mom are then going to go up to town and mom is going to um treat me to some clothes <laughs> for um my maternity period basically until i give birth because anyone who's had a baby will know that uh i mean it's common sense to know that you get bigger your belly grows and you can't fit into everything so i need some clothes as well so that is what's happening today. So uh, yeah, let's go. So we're just in Matalan, having a look around. Picked up a couple of things that I'm gonna try on as well. Oh. <laughs> but I'm struggling. I am struggling to find things that I actually like. And there's nothing maternity here at all, so. We'll just keep going. <laughs> 